Welcome to Dang Dang Ka Channel. Categories Celebrity Biography. Ranking every U.S. President by net worth. By us President Stadingsidgov.com. The poorest presidents. Number 43 to 35. Net worth. Less than $1 million. James Buchanan. Abraham Lincoln. Andrew Johnson. Ulysses S. Grant. James Garfield. Chester A. Arthur. Woodrow Wilson. Calvin Coolidge. Harry S. Truman. This group of nine won the presidency but never found significant wealth. Interestingly, six of these poorest presidents served in the period between 1857 to 1881. Clearly, the years before and after the Civil War were a tough time to be commander-in-chief. Number 34. Warren G. Harding. Net worth. $1 million. Harding's tenure as president ended abruptly when he died from heart failure during his second year of office. Before that, he had earned income primarily from a local newspaper he owned. Number 33. William McKinley. Net worth. $1 million. With the exception of his presidential salary, McKinley had no other significant sources of income. McKinley's presidency took a tragic turn on September 14. 1901 when he was assassinated he served in office for 4.5 years. Number 32. Franklin Pierce. Net worth. $2 million. Outside his presidency, Pierce had success as an attorney and owned land in New Hampshire. Compared to others on this list, though, Pierce's net worth and political record are rather unexceptional. Number 31. William Howard Taft. Net worth. $3 million. Taft might have been the heaviest U.S. president he allegedly got stuck in the bathtub but his net worth was one of the lightest. Big Bill gained most his wealth from a long career in law. Number 30. Rutherford B. Hayes. Net worth. $3 million. President Hayes doesn't have a particularly impressive legacy, but he did own a majestic estate in Ohio. Like many other U.S. presidents of his time, Hayes also had success as an attorney. Number 29. No Art Fillmore. Net worth, $4 million. Fillmore has the distinction of being the last president from the Whig Party. His main financial asset was his estate in New York. Number 28. Benjamin Harrison. Net worth, $5 million. Outside his presidency, Harrison was an esteemed lawyer, who owned valuable property in Indiana. Some of his wealth was also passed down from his grandfather, President William Henry Harrison. Number 27. William Henry Harrison, net worth, $5 million. The older Harrison may have the same net worth as his grandson, but his presidency was far more abrupt. After delivering his inaugural speech in freezing rain, Harrison succumbed to pneumonia. His 23-day presidency is the shortest in U.S. history. Harrison's fortune primarily comes from the estate of his wife's family. Number 26. Zachary Taylor, net worth. Six million dollars. Before Taylor could make much of an impact as president, he died suddenly of gastroenteritis. He served in office for just over a year. Despite his untimely end, Taylor had amassed a small fortune from land speculation. Number 25. Jimmy Carter. Net worth. Seven million dollars. Before his presidency, Carter was a respected peanut farmer, but his real wealth came after his presidency in the form of lucrative book deals. Number 24. Gerald Ford. Net worth. $7 million. Ford had the challenging task of taking over the White House after President Nixon resigned. Like Carter, Ford made most of his fortune from book deals after his presidency. Number 23. Barack Obama. Net worth. $7 million. The leader of the free world currently makes $400,000 a year about as much as a high-level banker. While he can enjoy his salary until 2016, Obama has made most of his money from his two best-selling books. Number 22. Dwight Eisenhower. Net worth. $8 million. In addition to his eight years as president, Eisenhower was a celebrated military commander and president of Columbia University. His largest financial asset was his large estate in Pennsylvania. Number 21. James K. Polk. Net worth. $10 million. Polk's accomplishments as president are often overlooked, but the one-term wonder successfully led the nation to victory in the Mexican-American War, restored the treasury, and reduced tariffs. His land holdings were similarly impressive. Number 20. Ronald Reagan, net worth, $13 million. A successful Hollywood actor, Reagan starred in over 50 movies before his presidency and served as spokesman for GE. Post-presidency, 
Reagan found further success with a lucrative book deal. Number 19, Richard Nixon, net worth, $15 million. Though the Watergate scandal tarnished Nixon's legacy, it also led to some high-paying book deals and interviews. In fact, British talk show host David Frost paid $600,000 for a series of interviews with Tricky Dick. Number 18, John Adams, net worth. 19 million dollars the second commander-in-chief had iraqi presidency losing his re-election to rival thomas jefferson was a major defeat for adams nevertheless adams was a renowned attorney and married into a wealthy family number 17 george w bush net worth 20 million dollars before entering politics Bush had success in the oil industry and as a co-owner of the Texas Rangers baseball team. Bush currently makes revenue from his books and public speaking engagements. Number 16, John Quincy Adams, net worth, $21 million. As the son of John Adams, Quincy Adams had big shoes to fill. Like his father, Quincy Adams was a controversial president and lost re-election. He inherited most of his fortune but also had success as a lawyer. Number 15, George H. W. Bush, net worth, $23 million. Like his son, Bush Sr., worked in the oil industry before entering the White House. He also owns significant property in Maine. Number 14, Grover Cleveland, net worth, $25 million. Grover Cleveland has the distinction of being the only U.S. president to serve two terms out of sequence. Known as the veto president, Cleveland vetoed 414 bills, more than any other president at the time. Unsurprisingly, Cleveland had a formidable career in law and also had successful real estate investments. Number 13, Martin Van Buren, net worth, $26 million. Van Buren's legendary sideburns were complemented by a similarly impressive career in law. He also owned substantial property in New York. Number 12, James Monroe, net worth. $27 million. Monroe presided over the era of good feelings in the U.S. and was the last founding father to serve as president. Before his presidency, Monroe amassed wealth as a lawyer, farmer, and planter. Number 11, John Tyler, net worth. $51 million. Sometimes referred to as his accidency, Tyler abruptly assumed office when President William Henry Harrison died 23 days into his term. In addition to inheriting the White House, Tyler also inherited a massive tobacco plantation and married into a rich family. Number 10, Bill Clinton, net worth. $55 million. Although Clinton had a successful law career before entering politics, his real wealth came after he left the White House. Clinton's autobiography, My Life, has sold over 2.2 million copies. Additionally, Clinton has made a sizable fortune from public speaking alone. Number 9, Franklin D. Roosevelt, net worth. $60 million. FDR was the longest serving president in U.S. history. With over 12 years in the White House, he inherited significant wealth from his family and his marriage to Eleanor, but was never able to match the fortune of his older cousin Teddy. Number 8, Herbert Hoover, net worth. $75 million. Unlike many of the presidents on this list, Hoover did not inherit any wealth. In fact, Hoover was an orphan who made his fortune in the mining industry. Unfortunately, his business savvy couldn't stop the onset of the Great Depression. Number 7, Lyndon B. Johnson, net worth, $98 million. Following JFK's assassination, Johnson assumed office under tragic circumstances, but quickly reinvigorated the nation with his war on poverty. Johnson's fortune primarily came from his large land holdings in Texas. Number 6. James Madison, net worth, $101 million. Known as the father of the Constitution, Madison earned substantial income as both President and Secretary of State. However, his real wealth came from his 4,000-plus acre plantation in Virginia, named Montpelier. Number 5, Andrew Jackson, net worth, $119 million. For a self-proclaimed populist who dismantled the Federal Bank, Jackson had a surprisingly high net worth. His fortune primarily came from substantial land holdings and his military career. Number 3, Thomas Jefferson, net worth, $212 million. A true renaissance man, Jefferson had several successful business endeavors, but like many of the founding fathers, 
Jefferson's real fortune came from property. Jefferson's large Virginia estate Monticello remains an architectural wonder today. Number 2. George Washington. Net worth. $525 million. Washington's massive net worth can be summarized in one word land. The Washington family was one of the most successful land speculators in Virginia, and their Mount Vernon estate consisted of more than 8,000 acres. Number 1, John F. Kennedy. Net worth, $1 billion. JFK's father Joe Kennedy built his fortune through several successful business endeavors, including banking, stock trading, selling liquor, not always legally, and producing movies. Technically, Kennedy was never a billionaire himself he was assassinated before he could inherit his family's wealth. But while he held office, he had access to his family's large trust fund and numerous real estate holdings.